Hello and welcome to the First Year Physics Laboratory. This video is going to give you some idea about what to expect when you come to the laboratory. I'm Dr Elizabeth Anksman and I'm the First Year Physics Director. This is Sebastian Fricker. He's one of the demonstrators in the First Year Physics Lab. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be playing the part of one of the laboratory demonstrators and Sebastian's going to be a student. So before you come to your first laboratory exercise, it's really important that you complete the safety induction on Moodle. This can be found in the Welcome to the First Year Laboratory book underneath the laboratory heading in Moodle. So you've probably got there already since you're watching that video. If you look up in the top left hand corner, there's a table of contents and you can select the safety induction from this table of contents. So the safety induction is a little test. It's got videos through it which you should watch and then answer the questions about the videos. Before your first laboratory exercise, you should also complete the introductory experimentation pre-work test. This is all about uncertainties. So I'd actually recommend that you att attend your problem solving workshop in week one before attempting this test, as you'll learn a bit about uncertainties in that first class. So go to the class, then try this pre-work test and then attend the first lab. You may want to complete the page in your laboratory manual about the density of the brass sphere. You'll start this in problem solving workshops, but you probably won't finish it. If you get stuck, the demonstrators will be able to help you in your first lab. But if you have it done, then you'll be ahead. And so you'll find it easier to get the laboratory finished in the time. With preparing for the labs, you're allowed to do any of the theoretical problems in the laboratory manual before you come. What you're not allowed to do is to have data recorded in your laboratory manual because the data can only be recorded in the lab using the equipment and copying other people's data is a form of plagiarism. So anything you legitimately do yourself is allowed and will help you get through the laboratory faster and so possibly score a higher mark, but you're not allowed to copy off other people. Now, when you come to the lab, you're going to need to bring a few things. You're going to need to bring a laboratory manual. So this can be purchased from the bookshop or you can print it. The PDF is on Moodle. The cover may be a slightly different cover, color. They tend to change a bit from year to year. You'll also need to bring a pencil, a pen. You'll need a student card because you'll need to hand that in at the hatch when you collect equipment. You should bring a calculator and a ruler. The most important thing to bring is covered shoes. This will be covered in the safety induction. Covered shoes are our only form of safety equipment. You do not need a lab coat or safety goggles for this lab. The other thing you should not bring is a mobile phone. If you have a mobile phone, please turn it off and leave it in your bag. So we don't want any phones in the lab. Now, if you miss a lab for some reason, say you're late or you don't wear covered shoes and so the demonstrators don't let you in, in that case, you're going to need to book a catch-up lab. Catch-up labs for Physics 1A run twice during the semester, during weeks 8 and weeks 13, and you'll be able to book into a catch-up lab the week before they run on Moodle. So you'll be able to book a catch-up lab in week 7 and during week 12 if you have missed a laboratory exercise for any reason. Now, if you miss a laboratory exercise because you're sick, you can complete the missed experiment for medical reasons form on Moodle. It's at the bottom of the laboratory section. To complete that, you do need a medical certificate. And in that case, you won't need to catch up the lab. At the end of semester, we'll calculate your average lab mark and you'll receive that for that lab. Please be aware that the pre-work is not reopened. So if you miss a lab, you should complete the pre-work for your assigned lab time because this won't open again during the catch-up weeks. So what we're going to do now is show you what you can expect during a typical laboratory session.
when you arrive at the lab, look at the board in the front of the lab to see which half of the lab you're scheduled in for that week. When it's time to enter, a demonstrator will come and invite you to enter. Please wait outside the lab until this happens. Okay, the lab's about to start. Would you like to come in now, please? Thank you. Good. Good. Oh, sorry, sorry, you can't come into the lab today because of that footwear. You'll need to book a catch-up lab oh. and do the lab another week. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. When you arrive at the lab, go to an empty desk and unpack your bag. Once your bag's unpacked, please put it on one of the shelves under the desk so that it is not a trip hazard. You'll then need to wait for your demonstrator in charge to give you a talk about the laboratory exercise. Once this has been completed, you'll be asked to go get your equipment from the hatch. Please go get your equipment now. When you do this, you'll need to hand over your student card. Take the equipment back to your desk, unpack the box, taking careful note of how the equipment is in the box so that you can return it in the same state. And then place the empty yellow box on one of the shelves underneath the desk to keep it out of the way during the experiment. If you need to use the computer for the laboratory exercise, you'll need to log into the computer. The login is your student number with a Z. The password is then the same thing, your student number with a Z. We encourage you to use Excel on the computer for analysing data, but you need to make sure that all raw results are recorded in your lab manual, not just your partner's lab manual, they need to be in your lab manual as well. Remember that the demonstrators are here to help you. If there's something that you don't understand in the laboratory exercise, then you should put up your hand and ask for some help. Could I please get some help here? I don't quite understand this. Okay, so what's happening here is we've got the gravitational force acting down and the spring force acting up, and they need to be balanced. Ah, okay, yes, thank you. As you work through the laboratory exercise, there's checkpoints in your laboratory manual where you should get your demonstrator to check your work. Excuse me, could you please check me off for the first part? I think I'm done. Great. Yeah, this looks like that'll work. Let me just tick you off at the back here. Great, okay, you can go on to the next part now. Okay, thank you. Ten minutes before the end of your allotted lab time, the demonstrators will ask you to pack up the equipment. This is because we need to get you out of the lab on time so that the next class can start on time and they can also have the full two hours. Okay guys, sorry there's 10 minutes left now. You're going to need to pack up and return your equipment, please. When you pack up the equipment, 
please make sure that you do it neatly and that you're returning all the equipment in exactly the same state as you collected it from the hatch. you've returned the equipment, put up your hand so that the demonstrators will come and mark your work for you. Yeah. Good work, that looks right. Good, you've got all those values. Yeah, nice straight line there. Good work, those are in agreement. The only problem is you've left the units off here. Mm, okay, yeah. So, sorry, but you lose half a mark here for these units. So you're getting 9.5 for this laboratory exercise. Yeah, can you please just complete your name and student number just before I enter it into the iPad here? There we go. Thank you. Okay, so what was yeah, your, your freaker? Okay, I'll just enter your mark here. Now, that should be uploaded to Moodle during this week. So just check it before your next okay. laboratory yep. exercises will just be in the grades yes. section. If your lab mark hasn't appeared before your next laboratory exercise, please show your demonstrator in the next lab so that this can be rectified. Okay, you're free to go now. Oh, thank you. So we hope that you find this video a useful orientation to the lab and that you enjoy your first year physics lab experience. Okay guys, see you soon in the lab. <laughs>